So all of you have seen this particular animation many, many times. You're probably getting sick of looking at it, but don't worry, I have some new animations coming to you from the ESA that I think look a lot cooler. But I'm not going to stop talking about the danger of space debris, because frankly, as these massive constellations keep getting deployed, the chances of the Kessler syndrome, that is to say, a chain reaction that would cause so much space debris in LEO that it would prevent us from launching any rockets in the foreseeable future is a real possibility. It's a real thing. It's not something that was made up for a Hollywood movie 10 years ago. This is something that represents a clear and present danger to our future as far as space exploration is concerned, as far as Artemis is concerned, as far as Starship is concerned, as far as going to Mars is concerned, all of these ambitions are going to be completely sabotaged if something like the Kessler Syndrome takes place. And as we continue to deploy more and more satellites without a responsible plan to deorbit them, the chances of this happening increase radically. And yet every time I release one of these videos, not a lot of people tune in. It seems that even spaceflight enthusiasts are not tremendously interested in in this particular crisis. And do you know who else isn't very interested in it? Jeff Bezos. Hello, YouTube. I'm the Angry Astronaut, and this is... So let me briefly tell you about Project Kuiper's mission directly off of their website. Quote, nearly a quarter of American adults still lack broadband access at home. Many of these Americans are from disproportionately low income and minority communities where the gap is unfortunately nothing new. This is unacceptable. Thankfully, there are new technologies to help close that divide and the number of stakeholders coalescing around this issue is growing. Amazon remains committed to working with all interested parties to produce solutions that will generate and deliver accessible and affordable broadband for all Americans. Okay, that sounds great. It sounds wonderful. But what are you going to do about all these thousands of satellites that are crowding low Earth orbit and especially the ones that fail? Because the ones that fail cannot deorbit themselves, and that's something that applies to Starlink as well. The difference is the philosophy. So far, SpaceX has not had a stated approach as to what they're going to do about the satellites that they do have that get disabled or fail, malfunction, whatever, and are still flying around up there as unguided missiles in low Earth orbit. And by the way, there are dozens of them, and many of these disabled satellites have already been involved in near misses in low Earth orbit. By the way, 60% of the space junk that currently exists in orbit were created by two satellite collisions and the anti-missile test that recently took place. That's it. Just a few incidents have created 60% of the space debris in LEO. One more collision will increase the problem dramatically. Two, three, four collisions, and you have a problem that is almost certainly going to cause a chain reaction. And this fact was not lost on the FCC. While they were interrogating Amazon about this particular issue in 2019, they pointed out that if 10% out of Amazon's 3,236 satellite Kuiper system were to fail and therefore lose their ability to dodge other spacecraft or space junk, there is a 12% chance that one of those satellites will suffer a collision with a piece of space debris measuring 10 centimeters or larger. And in case you're interested as to what kind of damage a 10 centimeter object can do to a piece of metal, well, have a look at this. This is the damage inflicted by a 15 gram piece of space debris traveling at enormous speeds, that is to say, the speeds that exist in orbit, and this is what it does to a block of aluminum. And by the way, 15 grams is the weight of three sheets of paper. 
Now let's reduce the odds a bit. Let's say one out of 20 satellites fails. That still represents a 6% chance of a collision, which is huge. It's not an insignificant chance at all, especially when we consider that tens of thousands of satellites are going to be put up in the Starlink constellation. And once again, we don't have a clear plan from SpaceX on how they intend to handle this problem. And up to this point, 3% of the satellites that they've been deploying have been failing. And with over 30,000 satellites, that's a lot of satellites and a huge chance for some kind of collision in the future. Now, there is a solution to this problem, but is Amazon embracing this? Well, no, absolutely not. Their solution is to simply say that our satellites are only going to be in orbit for about 10 years, which means a malfunctioning or dead satellite will only be there for about 10 years and then will ultimately deorbit on its own, and 10 years isn't really that big of a deal. What? You call that a plan? Well, apparently, Jeff Bezos thinks that it's a plan. Everybody seems to be significantly underestimating what this could mean for the future of human civilization. It isn't just about Starship, Artemis, space exploration, GPS satellites, weather monitoring satellites, all kinds of things that we desperately need could all be disabled by the Kessler syndrome. And there is a solution, a very good solution being implemented by OneWeb and the British government. Government. And if you want to learn more about this plan, well, click this link to a video that describes it. Yes, British spaceflight is not all that interesting, and 90% of you have not clicked on this video. But let me tell you, if you like Starship, if you like SpaceX, if you like anything that we plan to do in the future in space, it's important that we engage in a policy of responsible constellation deployment. And one web the British are the only ones doing it, and I'd be happy to explain how they intend to do it. It is very important. So until Jeff Bezos gets it through his thick skull that all the money that he intends to make off of Kuiper is going to get flushed down the toilet if something like the Kessler Syndrome is brought about by his own constellation, I urge all of you to stay angry about space.